Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm excited today to share with you my summer decor. This is a day in the life also, but at the beginning of this video I thought I'd just share with you all my summer decor. These are a lot of the pieces that I picked up this year and that I've already I already had um, I didn't use everything and some of this is going to be used on my porch which is going to be in the next video so make sure that you come back for that I'm doing a lot of decorating and fixing up the outside spaces for the summer but today I'm focusing on the lit the main living spaces in the house so this is a flag that I got on Amazon I'm gonna link it down below in my Amazon shop everything that I can I will link below it came with a pack of four and I only needed two for the front so I had an extra, a couple extra, and I thought I would try it out here above my television. I think it's really cute. I'm one of those people that really likes it to feel like summer and patriotic, so I don't just add one or two little things. I like to kind of add a lot, but not too much, but you know, everyone does it according to what they like, and for me, summer and July 4th is kind of like a big deal, and so I definitely like to add a lot of it. And with my new TV setup here this year, I have more shelves, more places to display stuff, so I was really excited to add these pieces here. So this is like a little garland that I picked up at the Christmas tree shop and it was only about like $2.99 and they're little tissue paper balls and it was perfect when I bought it. This is exactly where I had it in mind to put it and it's so cute there. And I got this little USA sign from the Target dollar spot. I, I wanna say it was probably four or five years ago, super inexpensive. And then I picked up this little white basket with a star on it I actually got two of them at Goodwill for 99 cents each I picked those up about a month or two ago and I when I saw them I knew they were going to be for my July 4th decor and then this little flag I think I got that at Hobby Lobby last year and I think it's adorable and these little block wooden block firecrackers are from the Christmas tree shop very inexpensive I've seen them all around but I was so excited to find some there for very inexpensive and then I just put this little sign here I did go ahead and move things around after I filmed so as always I don't always keep it exactly where I put it but this day this is how it was but you'll see in future videos if you come back that I did move some things around but for the most part it stayed like this So this is what that that TV stand looks like in the living room. I think it's really cute and very festive, very summery, just exactly how I wanted it to look. I got a few pillowcases to put on my couch and then also to use some on my porch and I just went ahead and kept the inserts on the pillows and just put them inside the pillow the new pillowcase so it, it was fine because it wasn't quite big enough for the pillowcase but I wasn't I don't love this pillowcase I wanted it to be more red and it's more of a maroon but it's okay I I'm still using them I think they're pretty and I did go at the end I didn't show it on camera but I did take a lot of these pillows off my couches I just had way too many and so I just kept the summer pillows on the couch I think it looks a lot better but um, I, I did buy two different sets and they are linked in my Amazon shop. It's just one, one came with four pillowcases and it's the American flag. And then in a second, you'll see the blue with the white stars. Those were in one set and then the red plaid was in another set. But I think they're really cute all together. And like I said, if you come back for my porch decorate, you'll get to see the rest of them.
and I really wanted a red white and blue blanket this year I didn't I've never had one and so this one was a fun fun one I got from Christmas tree shop for like $12.99 and it's super soft and that little tiny pillow came from the Target dollar spot a few years ago okay so now I'm moving on to my hutch and I kind of just wasn't really inspired this year with my hutch and the July 4th decor. I feel like I could have done so much more, but I was just using what I had and, you know, I'm just learning. <laughs> Eventually I'll get it to where I like it. I put way too much blue in here and not enough red, so I did, um, after I filmed this video, I did go back and change things up a little bit. But, you know, this is what I recorded on this day. This is what I put out, so it's fine. I definitely feel like I could add a whole lot more, though. That flag is just a flag I painted a few years ago. I made it with paint, paint stir sticks, and I've reused it every year. I just think it's really cute and weathered looking. And then this little blue and white plaid star, I actually did remove that from in here, and I used it on my porch, and it's way cuter out there. And like I said, there was just way too much blue on this, and it's still a work in progress. And if I find something that would look cute here, I'll go ahead and grab it. And, you know, I'm just always trying to change it up until, I, until I'm happy with how it looks. But those cute little signs and the star I got from the Christmas tree shop also. I always like to put a little festive towel at the bottom here. And this is one that a sweet subscriber sent me a couple years ago. It just has this cute little bicycle with the flag. And it just reminds me of like a July 4th parade or something. And it, of course it's that teal color. So I just like to display it every, every summer. It's so cute. This is a little table that Marion made for me and I have this really cute table runner that I used before my old table and I just don't, it just doesn't fit across my regular table so I just like to put it on this little table here. I think it's too cute not to use it with the with the blue star, the blue and the stars and the little red tassels on the end so this little table is perfect to dis display it. And my little vase add, I added right here this is new and I just put some greenery in it and some little picks that are supposed to look like little firecrackers For my table, I have this table runner and I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not, but it's really pretty. It came from Hobby Lobby and it's a really good quality. It's kind of too long for my table though and it's really thick, um, but it's a very good quality. One side is navy and white and one side is red and white. So I did start with the navy and white, but I have since switched it over to the red and white because with that other blue runner in here, I just thought it was too much blue and then the black and white curtains. So I flipped it over and the red does look a lot cuter, but I just added a few little things here on the table and I think it's so cute. This came from the Christmas tree shop. I bought the bucket at, at Michael's and I actually used my Cricut and put those words on it and then just stuck a little flag and a little pick inside. So now I'm moving on to the kitchen. I'm just gonna add a few things in here. I got this adorable little red, white, and blue star bowl from the Christmas tree shop. I think it was $3.99. I wish I had like a whole set of them. They're so cute for summertime. And then I just added a couple inexpensive picks and a little star and that finished off these shelves. Very simple. So this is all the rest of the stuff that I'm going to use in my kitchen. It's not very much. I just don't want it to be too cluttered or it will overwhelm me. 
but um, I bought this star at Ross last year for $5.99 and it's one of my favorite things. It's super thick and heavy and wooden and very good quality. And then I just added another flag and some picks into this plant and it just gives it just enough red, white, and blue. And then I added this towel to the stove and I think it's so cute. I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I knew I was needing more. So I did go to Hobby Lobby and picked up another little hand towel to put with it that's got little popsicles on it. So I'll show you that at the very end, but it's so cute. So here is the little popsicle hand towel. Got that at Hobby Lobby. It's on sale 40% off right now. So the house is decorated. That is a huge thing. Checked off my list. Actually, I started this whole process about two hours ago when I just pulled everything out and sort of figured out where it was gonna go and then filmed it. And yeah, I'm glad to have it done. And I like how it turned out. I like just like a I like to keep my regular decor and then add the extra red, white, and blue into it. But after Christmas, July 4th is like my favorite holiday. Well, Christmas and Easter, but um, I can never seem, I'm never like fully satisfied with this. I loved it at Christmas, but I don't know. I feel like I could go like way overboard and I just don't need to. I definitely think that if you walk in my house, it feels like summertime, red, white, and blue everywhere. This is like one of my favorite little, there we go. That is one of my favorite little spots. I don't know why it's just so cute. These table runners kind of get on my nerves though, so I don't know if I'll keep it the whole time, but for now I like it and I really like this too. And then of course the living room turned out so cute. It's definitely lots of red, white, and blue, so I'm happy to have that done and now this will stay up for a few months. But welcome back. I'm just now showing my face on here. I thought I'd do this video a little bit different than I do uh, normally starting out my video, but this is just gonna be a summer decorate, but also a day in the life. It is Thursday for me, and I really wanted to get this done today because I plan this weekend to do my porch and like all the outdoor stuff, so definitely make sure that you come back for that video because the porch is gonna be really cute. Actually, after three o'clock now. So, I definitely got started later this day. Jackson has Bible Club today at school. This is his last um, Bible Club for the school year, so I pick him up later than normal today, so I knew I had some extra time, so I thought I'm gonna take my time, put everything the way I want it to be, not stress about it, because that's not supposed to be stressful, it's supposed to be fun, and yeah, it looks good, and I'm happy with it. I hope that you uh, got some inspiration, or you know, if you don't decorate for July 4th, maybe go out and pick up a few little flags and stick them in some plants, or stars, I love these little stars from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby, I can't quite remember, but they're so cute and they just dress up like the simplest little decor dresses up a plant or whatever makes it feel festive and I love love summer love July 4th all of it the red white and blue um so uh, so this evening Patrick is gonna come over for dinner I'm gonna put you up here because my arm gets so tired Patrick's coming over for dinner because it's Thursday and that's his his regular routine we do his budget and his he eats dinner with me and then at seven we do have a phone call with someone so he and I uh, we'll be doing that for a while, but we're not gonna, so I'll close the video before that, but I'm gonna be making dinner. It's something I've shared before that my mom always made when we were kids, just like mashed potatoes with a beef gravy. It's like mushroom, mushroom soup and brown gravy and ground beef and onion. She used to put lots of onion. Um, you know, pour it over the mashed potatoes. It's so good. And then we'll just do some veggies on the side and it'll be, a, it actually is super easy. I've shared it before, but I'll show you again if you hadn't seen that video. And I'm also going to try a sugar-free banana bread because I've got some bananas that have gone bad, which is pretty much every week they go bad. I just, I don't like bananas and let, these are probably not nearly ripe enough to make banana bread, but I'm just going to, hopefully I can use them. But I'm really funny about my bananas. They have to be, a, so it's like a one or two day window that I will eat a banana like from the color of it so anyway I'm gonna be making some sugar-free chocolate chip banana bread because Patrick will eat it nobody else will eat it but I know he will try it so we have been trying some other like low sugar and sugar-free desserts and I've shared some but I'm gonna start I have a playlist it, somebody had asked me if I put them in a playlist so all the videos that have like sugar-free or low sugar dessert ideas are gonna be in a separate playlist so you can find them easy if you're interested in 
that but I have a lot that I've pinned on Pinterest that I want to try so there's like tons that I want to try so tonight I'm gonna do sugar-free chocolate chip banana bread and I'm it sounds amazing so and my my favorite sweets to eat is like a baked bread or donut or cake or something I would choose that over ice cream or candy any day so and I don't bake anymore because I don't eat sugar so much so I miss baking and I miss baked goods so I thought sugar-free recipe I can do it so I'm gonna share that with you and I will link the recipe down below as well but I am gonna make a few little changes like I always do but you know that's what I always say make it your own make it the way you want to make it in fact it's not a chocolate chip recipe but I'm gonna put in some Lily's chocolate chips because I want chocolate chip banana bread <laughs> Also, I thought I would address this because I've gotten a couple comments lately. I think a couple of the last videos had this in it, but um, you've, a couple of you commented about the clanging of the bowl in here. <coughs> a lot of people think it's someone eating cereal out of a bowl, but it's just my dog eating her. Their bowls are glass, and I recently, recently within the last like two months, got new bowls, and so that never was an issue before, but I had to get bigger bowls because the other ones were just too small. And Belle's little tag, it's metal and it hits the bowl constantly and I totally don't even notice it because I'm so used to it. And she follows me everywhere and when I'm in the kitchen, she wants to be in the kitchen and she's usually just, that's when she eats. So the reality is she lives here, that's her food and water and I don't even notice it. So if I notice it and I can move the food or have her not do that when I'm filming, I'll do it. But if I can't, it's just, I apologize if you have to fast forward or you have to, you know, click off the video that's whatever you got to do but if you hear it it's Belle I appreciate you watching and sticking it out and just understanding that it is her and you know if it drives you crazy or that the clanging you can't handle it just you know fast forward or whatever you got to do I understand so this is a candle I showed yesterday in or in my last video and I got it at Walmart it's a gain and no what is it called the uh, moonlight breeze I think and it's the candle it was six dollars for two of these so that was like three bucks and i lit it yesterday and it smells really good so i don't know if it's worth the price but i'll let you know i didn't have it burning for long so i don't know if it's like gonna make the whole house smell like it but i hope so so i'm gonna it's 315 so i'll check i'll uh keep you posted on how it smells and also we ran out of matches and marion could only find these massive massive like I don't know. <sighs> Fireplace matches. <laughs> it's time to go get Jackson. And it is so very hot outside. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today. I love it though. We're getting a new store over here where... It used to be Burlington Coat Factory, but they're building a new store called Gabe's. Do you guys have a Gabe's where you live? It looks amazing from what I saw online. I cannot wait. make the banana bread because it takes like an hour or over an hour to actually bake so I want to get that done because it is 4:39, and actually didn't need to know need to tell Patrick what time to be here for dinner but we have our phone call at 7 so I need to have him here by 6 probably so we can eat I can clean the kitchen and then sit down and do that so yeah I'm gonna link this recipe down below I've never tried it but I will let you know what we think of it I'm sure Patrick will like it he likes everything so and update on the candle. I definitely smelled it when I walked in the house. So it smells good. I don't know if it's quite exactly the same scent as, you know, when I'm doing laundry, but it says it's the same scent, but it smells really good. It smells really clean, so. As a young girl, it feels worse. We played hide and seek for hours 
Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl I just decided to mash them up this way. I'm going to take it out and then add the wet ingredients in here and then I'll add the bananas back in in a minute. But that was easier than smushing them with a fork or whatever. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace.
have some ground beef cooking. It's about a pound with some minced onion, garlic, salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to use Bob Evans mashed potatoes because this is a huge time saver and these are better than homemade. They're amazing if you have never tried these. I like the original but they have several different flavors like garlic and just different ones but that's my favorite. And then some brown gravy mix and some cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to make some of these green beans and then maybe some frozen corn. I'm not sure. Patrick's here and he <laughs> just, he just was like, oh, that I candle smells over. so good. <laughs> it smells good. I'm like, wow. It's game. It's wow. game. That's It crazy. smells good. It smells um, so good. And here is dinner. Oh, That's what delish. it looks like. Ooh. I didn't make the corn because I just didn't. Here's the banana bread. I did taste it and it's definitely sugar free. <laughs> I put some butter on it. I'm going to see if that's good and if it's just not sweet enough I might put a little maple syrup. Okay Amazing. so it definitely Ooh. is it good it's with good butter? Uh -huh. Let's see. It's definitely not very sweet. I think I'm going to drizzle a little maple syrup over top. Ooh, I, I, I wouldn't good. object to that <laughs> at all. Not Perfect. Bad. This way. Did you get that at, at Club Sloppy Joe's? Sloppy Joe's. Joe's. Joe's Crab Shack? No, it's. This I got yeah. it at Walmart. <laughs> oh. Oh, what is that place? Joe's. Do you want any? I do. Joe's Crab Shack? No, it's it's a place that they, don't, they only have it in Charlottesville. Oh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. That's what it is. Yeah, yes. no, I get this at Walmart. Okay, the bread was really good. Patrick liked it. Definitely good with the syrup on it, but I'm gonna. Let it cool and I'll have some tomorrow maybe for breakfast and it will be good with yes. I'll probably I might not put anything sweet on it because I don't wanna na sir, um real maple syrup is a natural sweetener so mm -hmm. it's not like the you know other sugars. But True. anyway, we'll say good night for now. So thanks for hanging out with me with us today. And thank y'all again for my birthday. It was amazing. It was Thank y'all. And is that is that so thank much. you in sign language? It is. Yes, thank you. you. Oh thank you. Thank okay. You, you yes. always do this. You just that I'm expressing. take it to another level. Like Thank y'all. You know, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go have our phone call now. True. And I've got most of everything cleaned up, so that feels good. But thanks for hanging out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if, a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.